Good evening. Today is August 3rd, 2023. It's a great day. And uh, I want to just share something with y'all today. Um, with it being August 3rd, it's my older brother Johnny's birthday. And uh, Johnny's no longer with us. He went home to be with the Lord some years ago. And um, this is a story that, that many of you probably uh, have not heard, but a few of you probably uh, know this, this, this story. And uh, I think about the divine encounter um, that I've had with God's word, uh, really by way of Johnny. And so um, the story goes that uh, when, when he came home on leave, one of the first uh, one, one or two times that he actually came home on leave after he had left to go into the army, um, you know, he uh, was given, like most soldiers, uh, soldiers that are, that are, that are Christians, uh, given this uh, small Gideon's Bible, not this one, but one just like this. This is a this is a burgundy one, but it was green. And he left that little green Gideon's Bible home. And I'll never forget, I kind of claimed that thing as my own. He left it home. He left it home um, and it didn't leave the house. It, it just uh, it just became a part of, of uh, something that I started reading because, you know, I went to church as a very young age and I heard about the Lord. I heard a lot about the Lord and I, I would, you know, watch the saints and how they responded. And, and I would listen to the choir, I would listen to the preaching, I would listen to the deacons praying and and, you know, and that's how I grew up in the small Baptist church uh, that we still fellowship with uh, at, at this point in time. And so um, I, I knew that that it was something about this God that they talked about, that everybody talked about. But when Johnny left uh, left this this little Bible home, um, this 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 green New Testament Psalms and Proverbs, Gideon's Bible home. When he left that home, I began to explore the passages of Scripture that I knew uh, were undeniable to my faith. And so, um, just like here, uh, it had uh, it had the Roman roads to salvation. And I started reading things like, uh, you know, how much God loves me and that all are sinners, you know, um, as it is written, none is righteous, no, not one. Um, and then God's remedy for my sin and certainly the steps that it would take to uh, believe and receive Christ. And I thank God for that. I thank God for Johnny leaving that Bible home because that was what the Lord needed to continually draw me to him. And I read that, those scriptures. I read the Romans road and I, I knew that the wages of sin was death, but the gift of God was eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank God um, because that was not coincidence that Johnny left that Bible home. That was providence. That was God's divine intervention. It was one of those, what I love to call the divine intersection. I know some of y'all remember me saying that uh, over over the time uh, past, but let me tell you, had it not been for that, um, I just just really feel that I, I might have still been been lost. Now, now I joined the church a little bit after I read uh, this Roman Road to Salvation and all those things that I knew that that God was calling me to. It was it wasn't too long after that, probably around ten or eleven years old. I don't I don't remember the date, but I remember the time and I remember where I sat when I got into church. I remember all of that because I didn't want anybody to get in the way of what I was going to profess that Sunday. And so I I remember when the doors of the church had opened up and the, and the pastor came down onto the floor and, and I was there. He came from that pulpit and I went right up and I gave my life to the Lord. Now, life wasn't always good. Amen. I did not always do the, the right things in life. I didn't always make the right decisions or, or the choices. However, I knew that God God had called me to himself. And I thank God for that. And so no, 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 no coincidence. It was God's divine intervention that he allowed me to search his word through his scriptures. He allowed Johnny to leave that Bible at home so that the Lord could talk to me and speak to me on his own terms and from his own words. And I'm so grateful. So today, uh, happy birthday in heaven to my awesome, awesome brother, Johnny. I, I miss you dearly. You, um, you truly, truly uh, have no idea how much uh, you've impacted my life and uh, certainly the life of so many. There are many, many stories that I could tell about my older brother, Johnny. And I keep a lot of them locked away in my heart. 
Um, but I love him and um, still miss him. And I know that somebody in your life is just the same. Somebody has made an impact in your life. Don't let them pass away before you get a chance to say thank you and to thank God for them. So uh, whatever you're doing, stop right now, send that tweet, send that message, send that text, send that messenger or whatever it is, and let that person who means the most to you uh, reach out to them right now. Um, and if they have already gone home to be with the Lord, thank God for them, for what they put on, on, the, on the innards of your heart by putting their thumbprint in your lives. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Happy Thursday. And this is uh, some Thursday manna for each and every one of us. Take care.